Hey guys, welcome back. And today I am doing a theme for St. Patrick's Day. Started off using one of my favourite boxes. Haven't used it in a while, so I thought it was time to get it out. I'm going around with my gold leafing pen, which I must admit you, looks a little bit used and abused because I do tend to be heavy handed with it. <laughs> we smoosh it up and down to get the, the paint out. So the end of my paint pen is a little bit fuzzy and distorted, which is why I have to keep cleaning up because it goes over the edge. But if you have a nice new pen and you haven't abused it like I have, <laughs> this should be easier. And this is a nice technique to use as well. It highlights the lines. It just makes the project look more professional. So even though I didn't do it on screen, I mixed up this green with some UV resin, put it in a bottle and started squeezing away. So when you do this, try not to overfill the little diamonds. And I decided to do this with UV resin so that I could just get it done, you know, get it set in the curing lamp and get that part of it finished. This is a great way to do this box. It's a really good way to fill in the little diamonds with two different colors with the UV resin. Popping it into the UV resin lamp, which was given to me by a friend who watches my channel. And it's fantastic, I love it, because it does both sides simultaneously. And it's very strong light, so it doesn't take very long. So that's a nice toy, I love playing with that. So here you actually see me making the resin and that resin curer, the lamp in there, it, as I said, it's nice and strong. So I'm not really having any trouble with the colors that I use and it not curing. So I've made this Ace of Spades box a few times before and it's one of my favorite molds. Filling in the diamonds can be tricky for number one my hands aren't that steady so I don't tend to drop it in with a spoon I put the resin in little bottles like this now all you can see me doing is I've removed the little metal tube that was in the end of that cap and cut it down a bit with scissors and then enlarged it with the end of the tweezers I find this is a better way to get the resin into the little diamonds because you can control what you put in. So having cured the green diamonds I can now go ahead reassured that the gold won't bleed into the green which is a, a problem I had when I first made this box when I was, when I was a complete amateur so I've learned some things. <laughs> Hopefully you will too. a nice combination to use the 
green because Ireland is the Emerald Isle and the gold for the coins of the gold at the end of the rainbow. <laughs> That's my theory anyway. That's why I chose this colour palette. What I'm doing here is I've got a yellow sticky, get any piece of paper, just measuring the depth of the mould and then I'm folding the paper into thirds because I'm going to use the three colours of the Irish flag and I want to make sure that it's that the colours are even so that's why I'm doing this it's fiddly but you get there eventually I wanted to get it as close to equal thirds as possible so I did fiddle about a little bit <laughs> So now that I'm happy that I've got my paper folded into thirds, put it up against the mould and mark each third. So now that I've got the thirds marked out on my mould, I'm writing in the colours I'm going to use. So the one at the bottom will be green, which when you turn it over will actually be the top. So from the top down the colours will go green, white, orange. Yep, I did finally buy some mould release lubricant. And I have used this mould before, as I've said. And I find that both the lid and the base they have a sort of shelf on them, an indentation where they, the two halves fit together. I just wanted to make sure, rubbing that lubricant down in there, that I get as perfect a mould as possible. Because sometimes you can get bubbles that build up in here and you'll get a void. A little bit of heat gun just to warm it up and move it around on my level surface. So when I was thinking of the colours for this, I thought, yeah, we've got to have some glitter in here. It's got to be sparkly, so I chucked in some glitter. And I wish, in a way, that I, I mean, I know that looks like a lot of glitter for the amount of resin, but I kind of wish I chucked in a bit more because it could have done with a little bit more filling in, whereas the orange was really solid. The green, yeah, I could have chucked in a bit more. <laughs> so I'm treating the base of the box in the same way as I did the lid, because it's got that, it's kind of a ledge, as I say, where the two halves go together, and that is the place. If you're gonna get bubbles or voids, this, this, these are the places where it's going to happen. I just got my silicone tool and help move around the lubricant inside the mould. Just trying to help in every single way that I can to get it as perfect as possible. So smooching it all around in there. Silicone tools are the best because they don't scratch your mould.
เหมือนฟันเบดสวัสดีค่ะทุกคนวันนี้ผมขอแนะนำสีเขียวให้ใกล้ๆกันที่ผิวหนังของเราให้มากที่สุดและด้วยกลิตเตอร์นี่ไม่ค่อยฟื้นฟูได้ดังนั้นผมต้องใช้ช่วยเหลือในการช่วยเหลือให้มันฟื้นฟูได้ดังนั้นผมต้องใช้ช่วยเหลือในการช่วยเหลือให้มันฟื้นฟูได้ดังนั้นผมต้องใช้ช่วยเหลือในการช่วยเหลือให้มันฟื้นฟูได้ดังนั้นผมต้องใช้ช่วยเหลือในการช่วยเหลือให้มันฟื้นฟูได้ดังนั้นผมต้องใช้So this will be the middle color, the white. All these um, colors by Baltic Day, they're all pearlescent. That's why they look so nice when you pour them. They are very special. They've become some of my favorites, and I bought the hundred box set. So there's there's. Plenty to choose from, and they're all so nice. So this will be the third and final layer, which will be the orange glitter. I don't know what happened to me here. I don't know why I didn't just pour it in the cup. Let's put it down to a steamy moment and leave it at that. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Sometimes I just don't know what my mind is doing. It, I'm kind of on autopilot, and it's just—it's got a life of its own. It's doing what it wants. Doesn't inform me of what it's doing. It just has a glitch now and then. Anyway, that is that beautiful orange glitter. Fun time unmolding. So you can see, I was pretty accurate with my colours. I was so careful to try and keep them on their lines. See, I wish I chucked a bit more green in there because you can see clear, whereas the orange is quite thick. But hey ho, it is what it is. <laughs> And the lubricant really helped with the lid. Look at that, absolutely perfect. No holes, no bubbles. And Erin Gobra, probably not saying that right, means Ireland forever. So I hope you enjoyed that. I had fun using lots of lovely colours and throwing in some glitter. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.